slowly dying. Is it? Well, let <laughs> Andrew drive, and he's killed my car. <laughs> Dying, isn't it? We've run out of electricity. And uh, yeah, we're so nearly cars, we're nearly back to Andrews. The screen you can't see. Let's get rid of all what it doesn't need. <laughs> <laughs> Start, the Start throwing gone. the kids overboard. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's it. Is it dying? Yeah, that's it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Are we gonna make it to the next turn in? I hope so. Oh, I'm put it neutral. Oh, in. Is it still going? Oh my god, we hopefully we'll make it off. Maybe to turn the hazards off. Oh no, oh no. The, uh, stay in the hard shoulder. Just stay in the hard where's shoulder. The, where's the thing button? <laughs> what? It won't work, there's no electric. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's just doing the power. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, we've run out of electricity. Oh, we'll get the Mercedes, Tesla, perfect. Escort, oi. Luckily, James, the transport guy who transports stuff from England to Mallorca is, uh, saw us. It's Danish Road, and now I'm having to do some exercise. So I thought I'd show you my view. 100 euros later, we're back in the game. Crack. Oh. <laughs> I'm driving this time, you might break it. Ah. You are recording. Welcome to week three. Week three of the garage build. I'm going home in two days. We thought it was a good idea in the middle of last night to take the ramps apart. We've got one apart. We thought we'd better take one off of camera apart so we could know because these are all going for powder coating. Even though they're new, we wanted them a specific colour. This one, this is one side of the basis ramp. This is the other one. It took probably about an hour. To do. We did not, just yeah, not knowing what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I Next one will be quick. Before, well, being uh, careful, aren't we, not to we stopped break anything up. For food for a bit. That's, this stuff's amazing, by the way. Right. <laughs> it's like fucking chicken and. It's like a Kiev version. Oh. Follow me. The old staircase used to go into this wall. How do you know that? Hmm? <laughs> Hell, because there's stairs on the wall. So they've patched that up for now. These are sheets because we put the ramps outside while we're having some work done. Um, where the toilet was, they've plastered and concreted the floor now. So the big sink can go over in the corner. Yeah, not finished yet. They're going to yeah. smooth off a bit more. They're going to smooth it all off. They've removed <clears> that <throat> corner. Um, they've left us with a massive bucket of water and no drain. The floor down there, that all needs plumbing in. They plumb the water in for outside, which all needs attaching up. All the shelving's gone. They've finished the three meter hole, and they've done another hole which they're finishing off at the moment, which is doing, which is going to be for the fans. It's off center because the dyno is going to be off center because we're going to have a link on the dyno at some point. What's a link? So the link joins the front and the back wheels together because uh, at the moment. They're independent on the dyno, so if you've got front wheel drive, it just moves the front rollers. If you've got a real drive, it just uses the rear. But with newer vehicles and higher end vehicles, um, the traction control and all that crap, you want the you want the dynos linked really. It's like a four wheel drive dyno, isn't it's it? It's a four wheel drive dyno. They do but turn it's together at the moment. And the so newer we, cars, the stability system, don't they? Yeah, because the stability systems are so advanced, you want it travelling at the same speed. Front and back. So it's basically an expensive belt that ties them two together. <laughs> yeah, we should probably make it ourselves. We should try and have a look. The builders managed to get off the remaining part. They did, the yeah. Room. Good job, that was. What else? It's been a long three weeks. The sun is in my eyes. I'm blind at the moment. So this is kind of the same as my old unit. Had a window at the back that I had the fans in and a big chef's hood. We're going to do the same sort of thing here. Basically. That the fans are going to be able to stand out on here or in this wall. And then we're just going to have the fluid going straight up and out. If you have a look at the roof out here. Uh, we'll just cut some holes and... Lovely roof. Send the fucking tubes up. And then uh, 
<sighs> Still got a lot to do. I mean, we've, we've removed all the airline plumbing. We've got to put all new airline plumbing in. We've we had it professionally removed, didn't we? Yeah, may as well done it with a hacksaw. Because if you wanted the scrap, you needed to fucking earn it. This old thing has been in the same <laughs> It's been place. there the whole time. <laughs> the whole it's time. had a it's had a hell of a journey. Yeah, it's loving it. So all the shelves are gone. Obviously, we wanted to use this as a wet room. We're having a tap put in here, but we've got an issue now where the water will flow out of here, but it'll flow into next doors, and next door neighbour isn't really happy about it. So we've got to either block that end off and find the sewage pipe and put a pump at the bottom because this whole room slants down this way and then pump whatever water out there is might be worth just like fucking digging a hole at that end and putting a like a barrel in the floor or something i don't know it's just more cost that we don't really need at the moment shower oh i'll show you the toilet what the, what the well they done. patched up the things over the door the holes oh, over yeah, the door so they were those horrible up. big horrible open holes yeah they've got to smooth it all over put the wall put the wall up One. separation between the toilet and the office andrew's coming home for christmas so uh coming home he's, he's got a little bit of time here when i'm not here so he's going to try and get like all this crap off the walls so when we paint it it doesn't look so rubbish we're going to buy the doors wait for the master cards to come from the business bank account so that we can buy those we've had this wall here patched up oh, yeah. see Right, so we was interrupted by a Spanish geezer which works over the road. We wanted to just uh, see what's going on in. So, it looks like they've already done the plumbing. They've just laid it on the floor already. Oh, that's it, man. That's, that's extra if you want any ground. It's fucking done. Hopefully they've got the end off and take that away. But I didn't understand. This is what I, I made Andrew ring the builder and say, what the fuck are you doing? Because I don't understand why they didn't fit this pipe and put it underground before they built the wall. Uh, it doesn't make any sense to me either. But from what I understand is they're going to bash that hole. The thing is, they've got, to, they've got to dig the floor up anyway. So why not dig it up first, like you just it said, just lay it all sense. in and then put the wall up. It's the last thing you do. Uh, anyway. Yeah, the wall's up now. They are, they are back a bit backwards. You are going to hear tooting through this because it is thick. Tooting? Yeah, when you're having tooting. a shit. Tooting? <laughs> when you're having a shit, you're going to hear it. You're going to hear me singing in the shower. Toilet noises. We got any light in here? That door not open? No. They, oh, yeah, they broke the fucking handle on, on the door as well. They've rendered all outside now, so hopefully we don't get any water. You've got to keep an eye on that, haven't you? I'll make sure. I will keep an eye on that. I don't that. know if you can see, but there's a bit of cement down there where they started getting the level. Oh, it was Friday floor. yesterday when they did it, so. Yeah, they just yeah. slammed what they had left. It's Friday, the yeah, so that's time to so get the level for the floor. Hang yeah. on, let's see if we can get a, uh, what do you call it, flash. Hopefully the wall dries out because they've, as I said, done the wall. The wall that we actually painted on the outside is actually the bollocks. Incredible. I mean, you can still see the colour difference. I've just noticed as well, there's actually an air gap up there where water would come in. So I think they call that ventilation in Spain. Yeah, we're going to have to sort that out. Oh, yeah, that's a big one. Just left it. Just dry. Oh, yeah, she dry. Drew's just stood in like loads of... Have you not high arc in the door? We don't want to break it. Are you sure it's broken? Are you just being... Yeah, it's broken. Hang on, Speedy. Hold on, sweetie. Yeah, it's broke. Try the handle. They've, they've munted it, mate. What have they done that then? Well, I think it's nice. just a case of just delicately working the lock. No, it's... it's... Hold on. Try it. Why is this? The handle's completely lost. Why, why is this? What? Why is what? Why have they done this? Why have you done this, Mr. Spanish man? I mean, I know it's a... It's, it's not the, the best door. There we go, you fucking idiot. Oh, but it's our door. It's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot of penis. We've absolutely made a mess out here. As you can see, there's like shit tons of already hard. Why did you go up there, Fraser, and show you how they did to the wall? Because I don't, I don't like it up there. Why? Because it's not secure. Oh, it's secure. <laughs> oh, it's secure. I love standing here sometimes and watching them crush shit and throw shit around because they you just have. They have no health and safety whatsoever. There's an Iveco engine down there, look. How would you know there's an Iveco? Because it's got Iveco written on the top of it. Look at the size of that fucking Iveco. gearbox. That's a lorry engine. Look at, the, look at the beer barrels. That's a lorry engine in there. Yeah, I think in England, you're not actually allowed to scrap those. Not in England. Yeah, but I think they're owned by the Queen. Oh. They're like coins. Like swans. Yeah, you can't shoot us. You can't. <laughs> I love the first thing you said is no, you, you can't, can't shoot a swan. Really. Right, so up here, 
Steady it is. If I go over the edge here without falling, you can oh, see. Oh, that looks all right. <laughs> looks the bollocks. Don't drop the phone. They've rendered all outside there. They've got to put some more felt over. Mate, we could have a patio and a barbecue up here. This is this is how the kingdom's slowly going. Empire, mate. Me and Drew are fucking 100% balls in. Oh, yeah. Do you know what we should do? Because what I can see from here, we should do a quick cheeky review on your Skylark. Oh, Drove his R32 GTR in today. I have. I brought a tractor out of the bubble. Because, um, because he is, yeah, he usually keeps it in a bubble. But it was a nice day today. We were meant to go out on the bikes, but obviously work comes first. I see they made their own door. <laughs> made their own doorway. Well, I just got a little question. Every one of our bins is yeah. full of water. I don't know. I was asking yesterday. I was getting really There's fucked off. Head. Some putas has stolen my brush. Who's mofo? No, there's some mofo there. Some geezers trying to turn around. This is the GTR. We actually picked this up years ago in Wales. We, me and uh, Ped, how many? Mate, that must have been. It was two Christmases ago, wasn't it? Sorry. No, no, it was longer. Four years ago we got that. Four? We've had that four years. Oh, yeah. Yeah, four years. Yeah, played, um, yeah it was in Wales, wasn't it? Bloody, that, that, no, the beast from the east, wasn't it? Because it's all snowed in, weren't you, in, in Wales? Yeah, we're stuck in Wales you're the for only two days. Twice I drove out on the beast of the east. <laughs> <laughs> on red warning with a yeah, recovery right. truck yeah that's right and it ended up getting stuck in the snow the recovery truck with the gtr on the back so we had to pull it out um so you would probably would have sold that on the, the week after what? we made the effort to get it picked it up yeah we got a little beauty and most importantly she's registered in spain yeah well this was an this, this is japanese is, import who has no idea i mean i mean in england it's very very simple to register a car as we all know but in spain it's very 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 they're, they're, they're yeah, it's, it's a bit shit in Spain to so register cars. It's Japanese import. Um, they don't, I don't know why they don't like it. They, they, if you're doing a change of, I won't talk detail, but if you're doing a change of residency, coming over here, it's okay. If you're already resident here and you want to get one for some reason, they don't like it. So the value has now increased probably oh, yeah. tenfold. It's pretty clean. It's, it's a nice drive, actually. It's all completely standard. Well, you've done some decats the, to it. It's all completely standard. Um, Did you put coil overs on it? No, I want to. Okay. They're just, they're just gone. They're just, they're just dirty. Yeah, the back bounces around spin. a lot. No, it's fine, but it's just old suspension. You know, mm. it's, it's done. I want to put some nice little. I'm not going to spend loads of money on it. It's like a nice HSD or something. Yeah, or some BCs. Like just to get the, uh, the drive, the drivability of it will be a little bit better as well. I just put these basic handcut tires on. We did do a skid in it the other, the other month as well, we did. didn't we? We took out the. Um, Four wheel drive it fuse. It is true, you can just take out the fuse and it works, it's, it's fine. That it's was good fun. Whole car. Apart from that, it's all standard, like I said, apart from the exhaust. And then hopefully I don't break it this time when we drive it, and when I drive it again. Yeah, since you broke it and we had to, I had to pay 120 euros on a Sunday to get back to my house, I've done nothing to it and it's absolutely fine. It's still like it. I think where we was going around the mountains. You, maybe it's, I don't know if it's the weight or... It's just, it's just the, <laughs> <laughs> well, I spent like I spent two and a half hours in the mountains making bow and arrows and everything. Yeah, that was quite yeah, autistic of uh, me. Watch this. Start her up. I mean, there's little things I want to do to it. Like, these are little tiny <coughs> details, you know. But and in, these rubbers I mean, here are perishing. It's, it's terribly dusty, but it is in, it's incredibly good condition. Apparently. Yeah, the, the only problem Very is good. with it really inside is the dash over there where it's bubbled. Yeah, always the same. Right there, it's bubbled. Heritage have one for 1,100 quid. What, for a fucking dashboard? For a whole dashboard, yeah. Oh, wow. Stop, stop on the button, mate. Is it in no, gear? It's not in gear. Oh, it's pop, pop the hood and have a look in the hood. Oh, oh yeah, I did, um, I did bring the battery to the 21st century. Oh, what, <laughs> what else? I installed a European, I mean, this is a bit jank, but... Um, did you do this or is this already no, on? I didn't have a... I didn't have a Put a that's that's stuff, probably right? gone now, mate. We simply just put a um, whack a standard European battery in there, change the clock terminal, put some European terminals on it. You did at one point have a fuel leak on this, the, inje yeah, the, injectors. the injectors were leaking, yeah. And you ordered a kit from, myself, from JDM Garage. Yeah, the injector seals were leaking, and I think you broke something on the injector, didn't you? Turn the engine off so we can hear a little bit more when you speak. Oh, it's got turbo timer on the fucking thing. Sit down. Where is it? There we go. It's off now. Right, so hopefully you can hear us talk. Right, so. On his engine, 
six grand. Yeah, you've got one still. I've still got one for you. One. We've got one for the 240 that we're going to be building. Well, next year we're worth 100 grand, so what? just sell it by house. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the price of these JDM <laughs> parts and cars is just mad. So pull we took that, that fuse out. That bad boy out and off she goes. Oh, nice little trick. I don't know if you've, got, you've probably seen it on YouTube. Well, if you're in the R32, I know you probably will be watching this video. Or maybe you will. I want a 32 detail. So I don't know if it's the same for the 33 and 34. Subarus um, are the same. Basically, there's a restrictor pill, they call it, in the boost pipe. And it's marked with, can you see that? A yellow line. And then normally it's a boost pill in there, and it's true. So if you work that out, it, it increases the boost. It'd give you up to about a bar of, of uh, boost. So it runs about 0.7, I think, stock. And it goes up to about a bar. You can definitely feel it. But it doesn't, I've got no issues with cuts. It doesn't, it doesn't, it, it's fine. Fuel cut defender, that's what we need to fit. Well, this car's pretty standard. It's got standard ECU. Are you going to actually do anything crazy with this or not? Um, I want to... But then you've got to realise that this is an investment it, piece. It's, it's, it's perfect, as it is. Yeah, it's like, an investment. The, like I say, I want, to do the, I want to do the suspension, I want to do the wheels and looks, and a bit of drivability. And it would be nice to up it a little bit, only because... Think of what it's going to be worth, though, in 10 years' time. But you said you put, like, the... The, the HKS, um, whatever it is on it, the boost controller and the, the fuel cut. And we could just up the boost a little bit. Yeah, without right. without going too far deep, we could put a um, speed limit. Uh, is it, does it do over 112? Miles an hour? Yeah. I can't goes remember. Off, it goes off the clock. What's it got on the clock? 180. What's 180? Oh, that's way over. <laughs> Andrew put a new set of injectors in. Uh, I sent him a seal kit because obviously one was leaking. And you, you dropped the little plastic bit, didn't I you, dropped, off the end? Uh, something snapped and I spent days trying You was it. ringing me for like two the days straight got, panicking. I got, I, got one of the, I got one of the endoscopes in there. Checked every single ball, could see it. It was long gone. I got a vacuum cleaner, overheated my vacuum. Wife wasn't happy, but it had to be done. I got it in there trying to suck it. I couldn't find it at all. And I just thought, well, what can I do? Put it all back together. Started up, hope for the best, it's absolutely fine. The exhaust is rotten. I think it's a standard thing on these cars. I've got the, the, what do they call it? The front pipe is a H HKS pipe, and then the rest is the... Oh, is it actually H HKS, an not H an eBay special? It's, no, it's an HKS front pipe, and then it goes into the eBay special. The, the which was 150 eBay. quid, and it's perfect. It, it does sound lush, I was following perfect. you earlier. I've got the original cap for when I need to pass the MOT, and that's it. Jeez. We should go out in a night awesome. drive in it later. Yeah, maybe. Everything's perfect. Let's flick to the night drive now. That's it. My old girl's over there looking dirty. Oh, she is God, look how messed. clean this fucking Don't car is. It. Look how no, clean this car is. Oh my God. Drew. It's covered in dust, mate. It's awful. It's spilled. God, mate, I fired. It smells. There's your pussy over there, look. Oh, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Go and get yourself some Saturday pussy. <laughs> it's Saturday, we're gonna some pussy. Here. Oh, Jeff, are you gonna go all gooey? Oh, look, there we go. You got all gooey. You got all gooey. You got all gooey. This is probably cat, anyway. Here you go, Jeff. Jeff. Can you touch my car, you slave? Here, look. Here, here. Yeah, look, she's there. Here you go, look. Here, here, here. It might be cat, we're not sure. Where we find out Jeff's allergic to chicken and starts fucking having a stroke. Well, I'm not happy with that, mate. I've been rejected. <laughs> Let's have a look at this. So what's in yours? Cheese and ham. Close up to the lips. You're a sexy human being, did you know that?